What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here for Torque Drift Tuesday. We're back on Torque Drift. If you notice, I'm a little broke and I got some uh, gold here. But we do have a garage full of cars. If you guys have been following Torch Drift, we are now on the PC version as well with all the accounts set to it. And, you know, we have this 180SX that we've been building as well as we have our Mustang and the Torch Drift BRZ, which we're going to mess with too. But we do have our M4 over here as well. So if you guys see it, EvilRabbit07 is the account. If you guys see me on track, you guys know it's really me. So I figured today, why not do a big crate opening? Because, well, we're kind of uh, strapping for cash here right now. So we're going to go to crates, we're going to buy some crates, and we're actually going to buy 10 Torque Drift crates with the gold we have. And hopefully we can either bring it back up or get a better deal with some other stuff. So before we do this, we're going to actually click on the right car that I want to op start opening stuff for because we are gonna work on the 180. So the 180 does have a good amount of parts on there, but we're gonna open crates with the 180. So 10 torque drift crates, three items, chance to get some other cars and stuff like that. Let's start opening them up and see what we can get. First item, some rims, some gold, and some gold. So we're replenishing our gold. So we gotta replenish at least 480 gold worth of stuff in order for it to be justifiable starting off with 20 gold only and some uh performance so some pro brakes that's a, that's a pretty good uh it's a pretty good pull because we can throw those pro brakes on the 180 got eight more pulls import diff import diff and some tires that was not a very good pull unfortunately so we're trying to see if we can make our money back or get some pull parts or cars that will be good. How did we just pull two yellow neons? We got $10,000 for that and $2,500 from there. So we're getting our cash flow a little bit higher. But this is kind of a gamble to see if it's really worth it. 10 and some import breaks. So, so far, not the best. We're going to go in there and sell all the parts afterwards to see. Because right now, it's not seeming like it was worth it, especially pulling all those just tires. $10,000 is pretty good as well, but we need some more. We need some big, big pulls, some big ticket items. Nothing's really big right now. Nothing is hitting, hitting home with these 10 crates, unfortunately. Some more gold. A 180SX, we already own that. That'll give us 50 grand. So that's a, that's a pretty big hit for money-wise, but not not a lot, not, not perfect. Tires, tires, and more money. So I think we're down to the last Torque Drift crate. Fortunately, no big pulls in these 10 crates. 60 gold, only up to 195. So I feel like we did basically take a loss on those crates. So we only have 195. So we can only technically buy one more crate, two more crates, technically. All right, let's buy two more crates and see if we can't actually buy three more. Three more crates and see if we can't actually maybe make back the money. I know we just spent even more money, but I'm trying to hope to get a good parts pull. Multi-pulse neon, so that actually is a pretty big pull because that is a custom pull like custom pro part some more falcon tires which will go good for the m4 some pro greens we're gonna go back and sell all this stuff so last and final crate and i think we did kind of get the short end of the stick on this one so let's go to the parts let's go actually we go to tune go to the engine we did pull this which is it better than our current one? It is better than our current one, so we'll fit that. And then we'll sell this one. Yep, we'll sell that for some cash. Then we're gonna go, we didn't pull any other parts, so nothing major to sell there. We didn't pull, any, we did pull some wheels, which I'm not actually, uh, yeah, we'll run those in the front. Do a little uh, staggered set. But we did pull a, uh, let's see, 
we did pull brakes that's right we did pull front brakes so we did pull these which we will sell but we did pull some wheel wood pro brakes which we're gonna put on now and we're also gonna put them in the rear we still get, don't got a high angle kit for this car so we're gonna put those oh we don't have to put the brakes in the rear huh that's right rip so but the neons we did get a lot of neons as you can see we have a lot of neons for here so we're gonna sell the blues we're gonna keep the pro blues I think because we are rocking the pro pro blues right now so we don't need these so we're gonna sell these obviously we don't need crap tons of underbodies for the car oh wrong wrong button went off the screen so we'll sell that as well and I don't think I'm gonna use green neon so we're gonna sell those but the big pull is this multi pulse neon it's worth 110 gold to sell but I think to buy it let's take a look at how much it actually is to buy it because I think to buy those well obviously you have to buy all the neons up so pulling the multi pulse was it worth it for that let's take a look at the parts accessories so you'd have to spend 35 and then I think these are 75 and then 175 and then even higher to get to the multi pulse neon so we may have made our gold back with just pulling the multi pulse neons now are those worth the pull I think it'll still be cool on the 180 so we're gonna throw them on there why because we have them obviously we're gonna put them on so we're gonna go we're gonna put the multi pulse carbon neon so they're not even so yeah these are definitely worth a lot more money and we're gonna throw those on there so kind of a kind of a cool pull for that to have the multi pulse carbon neons on the 180 but I don't think we really made our money back so we're gonna go hit up the track run some runs in these in the car and see what we can do we got a Long Beach daily challenge we can get some more crates we have the pits under construction and under construction so we don't have much of a choice <coughs> Rona um, so we're gonna run the Long Beach daily challenge probably gonna bring out the M4 going against Ryan Turk yep yeah, probably gonna definitely pull out the 180 or the M4 because the M4 is definitely uh, much better of a car than that 180 right now gotta lower that audio rest in peace headphone users trying to remember the controls right now Oh, I kind of should have stayed in third. Should have stayed in third. Too many wall taps. Yep, should have definitely stayed in third. So we're going to try that again. Definitely should have stayed in third gear. A little bit of a slow start in second. Kick it into third. Initiate in. Oh, we're drifting wide. And, and that's a bit of a hard hit. That's uh, not a not a comfortable feeling. Give it one more go here. So if you guys like more, want to see more torque drift, make sure you guys let me know. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which found in the description box below. I don't think the car has enough rig grip going here in Long Beach, so we may have to pull out one of the FD cars to try and complete this challenge. Keep forgetting about that clutch kick button yeah so we're gonna have to pull out maybe an fd car because i don't think i need to change the tune a little bit on the car because being on pc it's a little bit different so we're gonna have to tweak the tune for this car so we're gonna go back to the lobby and we're gonna pull out probably my favorite chase car christos belush's Eurofighter. take this one right up into fourth gear Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have broke. Okay, we're gonna have to restart that because uh, <clears throat> I done did broke when I shouldn't have broke. 
Yeah, we stay full throttle. There we go. That's where we need to be. Oh, a little bit early of initiation. Why can I not get my initiation here at Long Beach correct? All these fails, all these rips. It's kind of a kind of a failing initiation day. Initiate a little bit later. There we go. Now we're where we need to be. A little tap on Ryan Turk's door. Hard on that clutch kick. Being able to bring it back through. So if you guys have followed my Torque Drift Endeavor on PC, you guys know drifting on a controller is hard for me, but we've got it now. Banging those sponsorship crates. I don't think we're going to grab anything big from the sponsorship crates. So. We will go back and try to end this episode off. It's kind of a crate opening episode for you guys. We'll be bringing some more tandem stuff later on this week here on Torque Drift. So we're going to go back to the 180. We're going to go to the crates. We're going to open these two sponsorship crates. Hopefully we can maybe pull something good. 25 and 25. Money is always good. I, I, I like money. Money buys, money buys parts. And the next pull, gold and more money. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. We didn't get our money back. We will be doing more crate buying episodes and stuff like that. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.